Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Perils in the Warp. My name is Jason and today I'm going to be building some cheap and easy and fast and no paint required shipping container terrain for miniature wargaming. I'm actually going to be including free templates down below in the description box for the three shipping containers that I'm going to be building today. And I also started a new Patreon page where I'm going to be posting 10 in total designs with different colors and different textures for additional shipping containers if you're looking for a little more variety in your life or if you just want to help support the channel which would also be great. So this project is going to be very straightforward as far as supplies go. You're just going to need a printer to print out the templates. You're going to need some hot glue, some glue sticks, and some sort of razor and also at least one sheet of foam core board. And with that, we're gonna be on our way. Let's get right into the build. So the first thing we're gonna do here is print the templates out. And then once we have those, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the six sides of the container and separate them from the other graphics on the template. Once we have those ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my poster board and start gluing these down. What I like to do here, as you can see, is I glue down one part of the paper to attach it to the board, and then I pull it up and glue down the rest of it. That way I can easily attach it to the board and then get a pretty good idea on where the glue needs to go to glue the rest of it down. Once those are all in place, I'm going to cut off the excess board and then I'm going to pull out this protective mat to protect the table and start cutting out these shapes. As always, it's very important to be using a new sharp blade when you're cutting through this board, otherwise you can end up with some ragged edges. Also, it's always good to do multiple shallow passes with the blade instead of one deep cut because again, you could end up with some jagged edges and we definitely don't want that. While I was cutting these out, I had my hot glue gun heating up, so it is ready to go, and we're gonna start gluing these together. This is gonna be a super simple process. I'm just gonna be gluing all four of the long sides together, and then I'm going to glue the end caps onto both ends. When gluing these, so let's say you have this bottom piece here. I'm going to glue one of the sides on top of the bottom, and then on the facing side, I'm going to glue that piece to the side of the bottom, on top on this side, and on the side on this side. And then when I get to the top piece, you can see that it just slides in like so, and we have our nice little box. For the end pieces, just go ahead and glue all the way around here and pop it on. Easy as that. Okay, so we have one box. Go ahead and do that two more times and we're gonna move on to the next step. So as I imagine, you're thinking to yourself, these look terrible. The size on these just won't do at all. And you're right, and we're gonna cover them up. So we're gonna move on to the strips. Go ahead and cut every single one of these out. Okay. 
Once those are all ready, we're gonna be moving on to what I think might be the most skill intensive part of this build. And that is you're gonna fold these in half down the middle long ways. This will give us the angles that we need to apply them to these shipping containers and cover up these white edges. So starting with the long edges, I'm going to give them a generous coat of glue stick glue and then just start sticking these panels on. When I get to the front of these, I went ahead and started with the vertical strips, and then I'm gonna finish these off with the horizontal strips. And once they are all applied, we have a finished shipping container. I actually really like how these come out. Even though they're not actually textured, I think they actually look pretty nice. So again, I'm gonna repeat the process two more times with the other shipping containers. And there you have it. It is as easy and cheap as that to make your own shipping container terrain. Here are the final results. There you have it. We are all done. We have our shipping containers. Uh, I'm especially fond of this one here with the channel's logo on it. I'm gonna make a couple more of those to play with when I play miniature games. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like and subscribe and maybe even head over to our brand new Patreon page. And if you have any ideas on what kind of terrain you'd like to see me build, please do let me know down in the comments below. I will peruse through all of them, and if any of them stand out to me, I might give it a go. Thanks again, and see you next time.